Hey everybody, welcome to the New Home Construction Show. I'm Dan Asher with the New Home Construction Advisors and I am here in a beautiful Lombardo Homes community uh, with Carrie Green. And uh, first off, Carrie, just thanks for, for taking some time with us today and, and uh, giving us some great information. You're welcome, glad to be here, thank cool. you. And if you don't mind real quick, just kind of tell them uh, where we're at and, and what you know, your role in this community is. Sure, I'm the sales manager for Lombardo Homes. This is Cambridge Falls. We're off of Wilmer Road near Highway N in Wentzville. Cool, awesome. So if you're out in this area, make sure you stop by and check it out. So what we're gonna do today is talk to you about uh, how to have a successful experience choosing the right home site for you. And uh, Carrie's gonna you know, use her experience to give us some very valuable information on you know, things you can think about uh, whenever you're going to, out to find the right lot. Um, you know, so we'll just kind of start at really at the beginning and you know, if you don't mind Carrie, let's start with like, what are the main types of home sites or lots that people need to be thinking sure. about? Sure. Some people come in and they have a really great preconceived notion of what they want. Sometimes they want an in-grade foundation and they know that and sometimes they come in and say, I have to have a walkout. A walkout is you're going to have your sliding glass door and your windows in the back side. Um, an in-grade, you're probably going to have an egress window, or you're actually going to have an egress window, that's by code, and some hopper windows. So, okay. you know, and then there's some in-betweens, and then there's some custom style lots. Yeah. So when we're choosing a lot for our customer, we actually have some really neat tools that you can see here that'll show this is a typical in-grade foundation. So you'd have maybe a couple of steps coming off of the back kitchen nook, um, then this is your typical walkout foundation where we can actually showcase to a customer that your deck would probably be here and you'll probably have about 12 to 14 steps coming off of that back deck. You'll notice there's windows, a sliding glass door in the, in the lower level too, giving a lot of natural light into that foundation. Then there's kind of that in-between that's the lookout style foundation and there's probably five or six steps coming down from that sliding glass door off of the breakfast nook and you have some nice horizontal slider windows that are going to be more kind of a garden view so when you're standing in your basement mm -hmm. you're probably going to be about waist high and so you'll have a lot of again natural light coming in so i really kind of focus on these three um, and if you are going to go with a traditional, typical in-grade foundation, you're probably going to want to illuminate that area a little bit yeah. more with recessed cans and some lighting. Okay. Um, and then there's some even some in-betweens. So, you know, when you have a custom rear walkout where everything's pushed to the side, this is a great tool that we use here at Lombardo Homes. Um, there's even some custom side options where you have everything pushed to the side on some different grading issues. So okay. um, we've got a lot of different choices. And like I said, when a customer comes in, sometimes they know, sometimes yeah. they don't know, and sometimes they're subject to what we have left. Yeah. As our communities sell out very quickly, okay. um, they might be subject to you know the two that we yeah. have left. So this really helps us. Yeah, um, absolutely. So if, if someone comes in here, uh, obviously the people that know what they want, that's great. Right. However, the people that don't know what they want, you know, what are some questions uh, that you ask them or some questions they mm -hmm. should think about on which way they should go? Well, the, you know, the customer, if they don't want a door in the basement, then we're going to simply go to an ingrate or a lookout. Um, or if they want a pool, sometimes people want that rec space down in the basement that they can simply walk right out to their pool right from their basement and that, that finishing area. So it really kind of depends on what they're going to do in the future with their yeah. living style in that basement. Yeah, okay, so you mentioned pool. So we're going to kind of talk about that for a second because sure. that's another uh, really important item when it comes to um, you know picking out a lot is sure. any future uses. So right. you're also going to be asking them questions about what they plan down the road. What are, besides the pool, what are some other things that are really going to affect the use of the lot? Well, here at Cambridge Falls, we have really great home sites. Yeah. So up to 20,000 square foot home sites, which is right around a half an acre. Okay. So we do have home sites that'll fit your pool, your swing set, extra trees, things like that. We'll look at one a little bit later today. Yeah. Um, but the home site, you know, different things like the setbacks, that will affect that. Different things like 
the easements that will affect that, um, different things like if there's a sewer in the back that needs to be accounted for, those will all affect that. And we can see a couple of examples okay. when we go out later on, on the home site. Yeah. Um, we do have a lot fit tool that we're also able to use here at Lombardo Homes that enables us to, before we even go out and pick some sites to look at, we can actually see what homes will fit on what site. So if you have decided that the Indigo is the right floor plan for you, we can actually fit it on a couple of home sites right here in our offices and say, okay, it's going to fit on this site, it's not going to fit on this site. So if the customer came in and they said, Carrie, I really like home site five and I like home site 23, I can quickly determine that it may or may not fit on five, but it definitely fits on 23. Yeah. You've got plenty of room for a pool. Yeah. And then of course we, uh, you know, during our, our creating spaces and our reservation phase, we do do a actual lot fit with our land team. So yeah. they'll confirm what I've already looked at, okay. but just in case there's some, you know, yeah. stuff that land needs to look at we'll have a confirmation of that yeah, too that, later. That's awesome. So, you know, two things you talked about there, uh, you know, number one being uh, knowing what goes on which lot. You know, I, I know a lot of people call that a lot matrix. Mm -hmm. So the right. team has already predetermined all the lots in the community, what fits where. Right. So once you've determined what the right fit is for somebody, then you can guide them to uh, which home sites, Correct. if possible, which hopefully there are multiple or unless you're closing out, right. which home sites that they can choose from. Right. Yeah. And the other big challenge I know everybody goes through is, okay, I, I see the lot. How, what's the house going to look like? So this tool right. you're talking about actually like shows them, mm -hmm. you know, how more or less how it's going to fit on the home site. So they actually like know what right. they're getting and into. We can even look at abutments to the house, such as covered decks, covered patios, what if they know they want a four foot extension? Yeah. Our garages are already bigger than the yeah. average builder, but say they want to add four or six foot extensions mm -hmm. to that, that lot fit tool will actually help us place those things, bay windows, um, fireplaces, everything will showcase on that lot tool yeah. and we'll be able to determine whether it'll fit. Okay. The other thing, some people will actually pick their lot first mm -hmm and then go to the house that will fit on that lot. So it might be the home site that they really drilling in on that they saw this one in the community when they were driving around before they even came in and said, and say, Carrie, I have to have home site 20 and what will fit on that home site. So then I can actually take it from the reverse and look at the, the home site and with that lot fit tool, I can determine which houses will fit on that site too. Cool. So some won't. If yeah. there's you know an extra long ranch that might not fit on a home site that's a walkout, then I'll know that I might need to go to a smaller ranch or a two-story quite possibly yeah. too. So there's a so. lot of steps you're guiding them through. Right. You're taking all these different pieces right. and you're kind of walking them to the right home for right. them based on all that you have to choose from. And before we even get into the creating spaces yeah. where we really start focusing in on things like this kitchen, um, and do they want arches? Do they want this as stone? Do they want to maybe pop that door up yeah. to an eight foot door yeah. to align better with the cabinetry? Yeah. When we get into that creating spaces and customization that we do for customers before that, we even do what's called a discovery event. Okay. And we sit down and we get to know the customer in depth. Mm -hmm. And we want to know them as Mr. and Mrs. Asher, not home site 23, you know those people over there on 23. Yeah. No, we want to know them as Dan and, and his wife and the Ashers and their family and their children and how that's going to, they're going to grow in this home over the yeah. next 10, 15 years. Yeah. It also helps the designers at our design studio know what your hot buttons are and what you're going to be looking for maybe in your kitchen setup. It also helps our field team and our construction team know, hey, Dan knows about construction. Yeah. You're going to be talking to him with somebody who's intelligent in this mm -hmm. industry and who knows about construction. You might not need to explain every nook and cranny to him because he's going to know. Or if this is somebody that's the first home they've ever built, you might need to be a little bit more you know, educational with them. Yeah. So 
Um, this, even our field team and our construction coordinators are going to use that discovery event to get to know you too. Yeah. Um, and then we would go into the initial lot fits and yeah. then into the customization yeah. where we can talk about things like yeah. the kitchen and yeah. the master bathroom. Those are probably our top two places that we see yeah. people customize yeah. in. That's awesome. It's a long relationship. Right. You know, five to six months. Or oh, it could even be, you know, seven <laughs> yeah. to seven yeah, to ten, absolutely. depending on yeah, the, you know, the customization that they're yeah. doing. So cool. um, five to six months is really a good time yeah. frame on average. And yeah. then um, some of our customs that are, are on your own lots even yeah. can be that seven to ten range. OK, too, so. yeah, cool. But it's worth it, though, when you're building your dream home. Um, I would talk about you, you mentioned a couple other things, uh, the building setbacks. Right. You don't mind kind of walk through what is a setback exactly? Right. What does that do? So you always have a setback so that the homes aren't right on top of each other. So every home site is going to have a setback and sometimes in the front it's 25, sometimes in the rear it's 15. Sides and sides, you're going to have six or seven feet, your neighbor is going to have six or seven feet. So at minimum you might have 12 to 14 feet between you and maybe even more if it's a pie-shaped home site or if there um, is a smaller width home, so you're mm -hmm. going to have a little bit of extra elbow room between okay. you and your neighbor. You never want to be that yeah. close where you can reach yeah. out the window and grab some sugar. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's definitely going to allow you the um, a little bit better streetscape yeah. in the neighborhood too. Okay. Again, that rear setback is probably the most important because okay. of whatever yeah. you're going to do in that rear yard yeah. is really affected by what yeah. that setback is. Yeah, so. Definitely. Okay, so your setback is going to affect your use of the yard. Uh, you mentioned the word easement as well. I kind of have to talk through a little bit more about what an easement is and sure. also what are some things that usually easements are around? Right, so easements can typically be um, a really good example of one would be a construction easement. What if there is a basin back behind and they need an easement that's going to go right between those two houses? You're still going to have to maintain that grass though, Dan, um, but that easement right might give them a proper path to get back to that basin if they ever need it. Um, a sewer in the back of a home site is actually a good thing. Yeah. Some people say, oh, I'm not sure if I want that in my backyard, but Honestly, that's the best use of drainage for your home. So yeah. that might have an easement attached to it as okay. well. Good to know. So it's a couple of examples. Yeah, and, and so generally you know where the easements are right. when you're walking through that. Okay, so you talked about walkouts, lookouts, and ingrades. Right. And can you talk a little bit about the cost associated with the different sure. lots and maybe also based on desirability, such as cul-de-sacs and sure. things like that? Yes, absolutely. So you, you have different attributes for example throughout the neighborhood so one home site might be up against fabulous amounts of trees one home site might be a pie shape on a cul-de-sac that you can get a basketball court in a little bit later and your kids yeah. can play out in one home site might be just a regular home site that doesn't have anything fancy about it and it might not have a premium on it at all yeah. but um, if you've got a walkout you're going to have extra things like siding to grade mm -hmm. which is what we do here at Lombardo um, we always side all the way to, down to that grade level so that it has a, just a more attractive view yeah. um, we're going to put the extra windows in and the yeah. sliding glass door even on the inside of the home there's some builders that, that just do the insulation and then they put a clear piece of plastic over it. We actually drywall that back wow. wall and put electric in it. Okay. So there's a lot more complicated design for a walkout foundation than there is for an ingrade. So of course those are going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Um, but for the one that wants the walkout, yeah. it's worth every penny. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. Are there any other uh, optional features that people need to consider adding whenever they're doing a walkout or a lookout versus an ingrade? I think that's really pretty much it. Okay. You know, really the windows are okay. going to be probably the most important thing. We do see a lot of customization. Yeah. We see a lot of great room window walls and, and yeah. beautiful things like that. So sometimes a customer might take, for example, this twin window mm -hmm. and they might put four windows okay. to align with the four that they've chosen on their yeah. window wall above. So yeah. we do pay close attention to that when we're working with the customization yeah. to make sure those windows look good and align yeah. with what's above too. Yeah, that's awesome. That's probably so, your most important thing. So you as the builders of Lombardo Homes, if you hear somebody, you know, it could go both ways. They want to do a theater down there. Right. You might guide them away from that. 
or maybe Correct. you saw another customer that put four windows back there and it was awesome and you can walk them through that decision as well. Exactly. A theater yeah. room is a great example of when one might really want an yeah. in-grade foundation. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Either that or push that theater room up into the front part of the home yeah. where it's not got all the windows in the back. So yeah, cool. we'll definitely pre-plan that. We do see a lot yeah. of customers. I've got one that's doing a fabulous theater room in their cool. basement right now at Shady yeah. Creek, one of our wow. other neighborhoods. And you'll do all that? You'll, you'll do these custom features oh, like that for we them? We can do yeah. you know, different levels cool. for their theater room chairs. We can connect yeah. them with our low voltage team okay. that really can do as much or as little yeah. as they want. They can yeah. prep it or they can go the whole full boat. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so a couple other things we're going to do here today is we're going to go actually look at uh, the plat map that's going to show you uh, what all the lots in the community are. And this is something that you'll find in most uh, new home communities you walk in and that's where the new home salesperson or sales manager will be able to walk you through uh, what lots are available, which aren't. Right. A lot of times they already know which one the lookouts and the walkouts and all that good stuff are. So we're, we're going to do that. And then after that, we're actually going to go out on site and see a few of these things in real life. You know, it's something that you uh, will experience when the time comes uh, yourself. So uh, let's go check out that plat map. Sounds good. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so now we're here in your office where right. you've got these plat maps on the wall. So uh, if you kind of walk through what this is and what people are looking at here. So say we have a customer that has narrowed it down to two home sites. They said, you know, Carrie, we love home site 24 and we love home site 23. Both of those are walkout home sites. That's exactly what we want. We want a little bit of tree, tree area behind us. Okay. Um, so I know that one of those is going to have a challenging lot fit for the home. Okay. So let's look at plan A, which would be 23. So um, right here, you're, you're going to get to see in the, the, you know, everyone will get to see this here in a second. But if we place this Indigo home on this home site, it'll tell us we have 88 feet from here to where the home needs to start. We're going to have an extended driveway, so you'll have a little bit more area for parking. We'll place the house from the back side of the house to the back of that home site. It's going to be 128 feet. Wow. And then I've got a deck positioned on this home, and from the back of the deck to the back of the home site, it'd be 106 feet. Okay. So um, we're going to get to walk this home site here in a minute. That's awesome. So I mean, you were able to actually show exactly how that's going to sit there. You had uh, different specs on there. You had a deck on there, Correct. right? And it seemed like you were able to put that together fairly, fairly fast. This is super fast. Cool. Um, I actually have a deck on there. I actually have a four foot extension yeah. on the garage and a fireplace. And I was actually able to choose the elevation. Yeah. Sometimes the front elevation with the porch will dictate how far it has to set back from the road. Yeah. Okay, well next we're going to go out and actually see lot 23. Right. So this is right. going to be fun. Let's go. Cool. Okay, so now we're out here in lot 23, like we were just talking about, right. in Carrie's office. And uh, she's going to kind of walk through uh, how you would go about actually laying out your house on site. So we're taking it off of paper and we're putting it into real life on the dirt. Right. Yeah. We want to see how that house is going to yeah. fit, how it's going to sit. Um, so we already pulled the tape on it, so we put on our cones. So we're going to walk you through how we how we pulled that and where the house is going to sit on this home site. Okay. Right. And Ready? what do you have? You have a, that's a hundred foot, foot tape. tape. Okay. It's, yes. We uh, needed the big guy for this one. Yeah. It's the it's a trust a new home sales tool. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we usually keep these in our cars I'm for sure. easy access. I'm sure. Um, so we started at the curb. Okay. Um, we pulled all the way back to that first cone, which is the front corner of this home site. And it's about 88 feet back, like we talked about. And you'll see as we walk forward, off to the left, you have the retention pond with the fountain in it. And then off to your right, you have a home. That one sits kind of nice. So the driveway will come up on our right-hand side, and it'll come all the way up to the house, which is starting right here where this cone is. So you can see, we've got a really nice front yard as well. So you pulled the first, you pulled the tape first, and you got the front corner of your house here. Right. And how many feet did you say? 88 feet. 88 feet. For this okay. one. So, um, okay. And remember our, our front tool here, our lot fit tool, it shows us the house actually placed on the map. Yeah. So then about 60 feet back is the house, actually. So the end of the house is going to go all the way back here. Now remember this one's a walkout. So we're walking down the hill a little bit. This hill is going to create the walkout for the homeowner. Okay. 
and then at the base of that will be their sliding glass door oh. coming out. Yeah. So now we're at the back of the home site here, or the back of the home, pardon me, on the home site. And then that second cone down is 14 feet back. So theoretically, if the customer is going to put a deck on the back of this home, it's going to come back to here, or again, they can customize the size of their deck. This home yeah. site is large enough where they can put really almost any size of a deck that they'd like. Yeah. I mean, you're literally standing on the deck right now. You're standing this on the deck, the deck right now, okay. only up here. Yeah. <laughs> and then behind that, obviously, we have a long yeah. section of flat area back here yeah. for the pool, the swing set, hot awesome. tub, whatever else you might, badminton. Yeah. You've got a lot of space back here. As a matter of fact, to the end of the, the buildable pad, so to speak, is 81 more feet. Okay. So we've got 81 more feet to the setback. Yeah before you have to stop building. Okay. So, so you can put a pool in this area or you can put up all you know, in here. anything else that's going to be a fixture. Right. Yeah, okay. And as we keep going, there's another slightly smaller hill back here. Now remember, all this will be graded out nicely yeah. okay. and evenly once we get into the grading phase of this home site. Yeah. Down here where this last cone is, that's the end of your billable pad. So wow. Wow. that's then the further back where the stakes are at the end, that's the end of this home site. Yeah. So this lost so a giant lot. So the end of that home site from the back yeah. of the home was 127 feet. Wow. Um, so amount. we've got a really fantastic home yeah. site for a customer that cool. wants to do a pool or a lot of you know, attributes yeah. added yeah. to the back of their home site. And you, said, you said a couple of things that I want to touch on as well. So the, the grade we're standing on that you're seeing with your eyes and when you're driving around a new home community, just because you see right. a grade, that doesn't mean this is the final grade. Right. Okay. This gets graded five or six times during yeah. construction. Yeah. The final grade isn't right until they put down the sock. So there's some, several phases of grading yeah. before. So yeah, this yeah. is not how it's going to finalize yeah. out at the end at all. But so if you're, very close. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So if you're out driving a community, the key is if you see a lot and you like a lot about it, but maybe the grade isn't just right, just go into the display home and ask them uh, what's going to happen there because, right. you know, maybe you're seeing how it's going to be uh, in the end, but maybe not, you know, just right. like what we're standing on right here. Exactly. Uh, and also the opposite, just because you see a level you are right now, make sure you have that conversation if that's important to you and make sure that's, that's the, the plan for the future of it as well. Absolutely. And I'm also seeing something else on site that we've talked a little bit about. Um, the inlet. So that's right. what you were talking about in there as well. Just things that are going to be on the sites. Right. A sewer yeah. inlet. You can't ask for a better thing to yeah. have on your home site, honestly. Um, you want that drainage flow to be nice and that is required yeah. by, the, you know, by, by code to have those scattered throughout the neighborhood for proper drainage for the neighborhood. Yeah. We want to make sure everything flows away from your house. That's yeah. the biggest component, getting water away from your house. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very You're much for, for helping us lay this home out. And, and you could do pleasure. this with any lot, any house. Right, absolutely. Lombardo's Lot Fit Tool is a great way to help a customer understand. And then there's nothing like getting out on the site, though, and really walking it with your sales manager and your sales professional. Yeah, so make sure uh, when you're out looking at a you know the home sites that you got 100 foot tape and you're out here right. with the, uh, the the sales manager and getting the house laid out and you'll get a perfect idea for for where your uh, master bedroom is going to be, where the kids' bedrooms are going to be, where you're right. going to be cooking dinner and everything else. And pick yourself up a hard hat <laughs> while you're at it. So when you get towards the building part of the house, you'll have a hard hat already. Awesome. Well, thanks, Carrie, for, for showing us a home sure. site and for showing us the plat map and all this great information today and helping people make sure they choose the right home site for them. Uh, I was excited we, we to really do it. We really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, what are some places people can connect with Lombardo Homes if they want more information? So, LombardoHomes.com. You can head to the website. You can drill down to the neighborhoods. I'm in charge of Cambridge Falls and East Hampton Woods currently. Um, we bounce around a lot, so sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm in another neighborhood, but currently I'm at Cambridge and East Hampton Woods. Um, we also are on Facebook, so Lombardo Homes, um, you can find different updates yeah. and stuff from uh, the Facebook site too. Cool. So um, also my own personal Facebook. Okay. Um, or kgreen at lombardohomes.com, you can okay. email me there too. Cool, and so we're in Wentzville. Uh, right. 
talked about the two communities that you're currently managing. Uh, what are the price points of the two neighborhoods? Right, so really ranging from the 350s all the way to 600s. Okay. Just depends on kind of where you want to be as to what neighborhood you're in. Yeah. Um, but that should, that should cover the spectrum. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks again. You're welcome. My fun. pleasure. Right. Thank you. Yeah.